Sunscreen is by far one of the most important products in your skincare routine, but for people with medium to dark skin complexions, it could be the most difficult one to find. On this episode of Sunscreen for Dark Skin, we are putting the Beauty of Just Sun Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics SPF 50 Plus PA++++ to the test to see if it's black girl approved. If you missed the last episode, I will link it in the cards above. Make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell to be notified every time you put another sunscreen in the hot seat. Without further ado, Let's get started. I have to admit that I was a little bit skeptical about the sunscreen when I first heard about it because everyone on the internet was talking about it like it was the second coming of skincare. But you know what? I finally caved and got my hands on it to really see if it lived up to the hype. Not only is the sunscreen super lightweight and great for all skin types, it's also a multitasker. It treats skin conditions like eczema, it prevents acne, and it also fights aging all at the same time. But the real question today that we're asking is if this is dark skin friendly. Fingers crossed, let's hope it's a winner. As always, I'm keeping 10 qualities in mind and at the end, I'm going to give it an overall rating out of 10. So this is an organic or chemical sunscreen. It claims to be a lightweight cream formula that absorbs quickly on the skin without any peeling or white cast. It's made with 30% rice extract and a grain probiotic complex. These are fermented lysate ingredients that help to nourish the skin and improve the natural strength and radiance of your skin. It also is SPF 50 certified from two different labs in Korea and Spain, which is really, really cool. A bit about the brand. Beauty of Joseon is a Republic of Korea founded brand. It's a baby brand. It's only been around for about five or six years now. Um, it is 100% cruelty free, but it is not 100% vegan. A lot of their other products are vegan and they do have a list on their website which shows you exactly what is vegan um, if that's something that you want to choose from. The brand itself was inspired by a book called Kap Chongso, otherwise known as a regulation book, written by Bing Hongak Lee. This book basically stood for ways to enrich women's lives to be more convenient in daily life, such as skincare tips, clothing, farming, prenatal care, parental advice, and organizing your home. The brand incorporates traditional ingredients into their skincare products that have been used in South Korea since the Joseon dynasty. So they say, whenever we make a new skincare product, we think about suitable herbal ingredients for each skin type and combine modern ingredients that create the most synergy to make a great product with the intent of giving a present. I really like that little story anecdote. I think it really humanizes the brand and really gets their point across as to how they're formulating their products and the reason why. They do also have international shipping, which as a Canadian, we love that. Um, and their refund and return policy is 15 days of receiving your products. You can always uh, send it back if it's not something that you like. Now, overall, I do really enjoy the brand. I've used a number of their products in the past and I really like how it works on people with problematic skin, like real skin. And so for the brand, it's gonna be getting a point for me. Next is packaging. So as you can see, it has a sleek, simple tube as its packaging. The material allows you to squish the bottle as well so you can get every last drop. I also love that it comes in a tube because you can easily cut it and scoop out everything that's on the inside. This is one of my favorite types of um, packaging. When you open it up, it also has a little nozzle here. The nozzle itself is a non-drip, non uh, spilling nozzle so it really makes it easy to access the product and use without creating a big mess which once again we love that so for packaging we're going to be giving this a point price and quantity this product is sold on various websites so i really just went to their actual website to get the pricing here it is 20 usd which is about 25.75 canadian for 50 milliliters worth of product so let's go ahead and do some math it is 1.69 fluid ounces divided by 0.04 which is the two finger lengths of product you need to be using on your face that equals 42 days so 25.75, I'm using the Canadian amount because I'm Canadian, divided by 42 days is equal to 61 cents every time you use this product. Now I have obviously done this calculation many, many times over the other products that I've reviewed in the past. I do think the cost and the value that you're getting with the product, we'll get into the ingredients later, are pretty on par with, with the median range that I've tried before. So I do think this is a fair price. Um, it is going to be getting a point for me as well. 
Okay, let's talk about the ingredients. So for the SPF ingredients specifically, I'm gonna put them up on the screen. It does have a decent mix of UVA and UVB filters. One of the reasons why I love Korean sunscreens is because they have innovative sunscreen, uh, chemical sunscreen specifically, ingredients, which are very unique, they're innovative, and it's something that we don't really have in Canada or the US. I do love uh, the balance of the sunscreens that they have here, and you can definitely search these up on Paula's Choice website, Cause DNA, and Instagram decoder to get more information about them. That's where I got mine. I think that their ingredient list itself has a good balance of moisturizers, antioxidants, and skin softening ingredients. The fermented rice specifically is one ingredient that really stands out because like i said it's one of their traditional uh ingredients and it's made to soothe the skin to clear up blemishes on your skin and this is what makes it truly good for eczema prone skin and i do have eczema prone skin so i really do enjoy this as well for their fermented ingredients fermented ingredients is something that we've only recently seen in uh canada and the us but a lot of asian uh companies incorporate these ingredients because fermented ingredients just do so much for the skin. Fermented foods and ingredients, they do so much for your skin. Like the list goes on and on. Fermented ingredients are like the holy grail, in my opinion, for skincare. You know, and the fact that it's in a sunscreen, even better. And of course, to note, this formulation is also alcohol free. Now, I used to be like a stickler for alcohol in, in the past, but it doesn't really bother me anymore. Now that I know more about why alcohol is in products, it's more for preservation as well as for texture to make it apply better. And most of the alcohol that's included in this product evaporates anyways, as you put it on your face. So you're not really putting alcohol on your skin. Anyways, there's that. So for the ingredients, I really do like what's listed here. Um, I'm gonna be giving it a point as well. Let's talk about application. So first of all, it has a very beautiful, elegant texture. It says that it's lightweight. It truly is lightweight. It disperses on your face like a water cream, not a water gel, but a water cream, which is very interesting. Um, and it does absorb pretty quickly on your skin. It, and it, when you're putting it on, I would say don't like rub, rub, just kind of like use the warmth of your fingers to melt the product on. Um, that is the way that I would suggest applying sunscreen in the first place because the more you rub is the more that you break down the sunscreen. Um, that's what I've heard from a dermatologist, so I started doing it that way. Both my like facial moisturizers and of course sunscreens, especially if it's mineral. If you rub mineral in, you're gonna get more cast, but if you kind of like glide it on your face and smooth it over your face, then you'll get the more potent protection but um yeah for application this is going to be getting a point as well okay let's talk about the finish so it does leave a skin like finish on your face i am wearing it today under my makeup too it does give a, a slight sheen on your skin but it dries down within a few seconds so it's not anything to worry about you're getting a skin like finish a nice healthy glow on the skin i would say that because of the ingredients it makes it really really good for people with dry skin but because it doesn't have a lot of like oil it's not very greasy at all, I would say that all skin types can actually wear this. So it is true to the claim that it said. Um, so for finish, this is going to be getting a point as well. All right, let's talk about reapplication. I applied this formula about three times on my face. First at I think nine in the morning at 11, and then I applied it again two hours later, putting it over my makeup, right? So first of all, there is no pilling when you're mixing. There is, first of all, there is no pilling, which is a godsend because the last thing you want to do at the end of the day of doing your long skincare routine is apply a sunscreen and have it pill. Ugh. Anyways, no pilling on your skin, uh, the no balling up the product at all, which I love. When you're reapplying it, it does have a slightly tacky texture, but then of course, within a few minutes, it completely goes away. So that's really cool. And it does wear beautifully under makeup. Like I said, I'm wearing it right now. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Now over makeup, if you're going to be applying this on your face, I usually use a sponge and dot it in. Um, it does leave a slight cast, very, very, very slight cast. It does fade into the skin, but I feel like you can still see that there's something on it. After a few minutes though, not seconds, but minutes, it does pretty much go away. Um, just make sure that you apply it in thin layers. And I don't find that it removes like too much makeup on your face. I wear pretty sheer makeup anyways, like very clean girl aesthetic makeup. So I don't really have a problem with it. I think if you have a full face of makeup on, then reapplying 
your sunscreen with creams is definitely not the way to go but if you wear barely their makeup like myself then doing it this way will work really well on top of makeup there's no significant oiliness on my face so that's really cool too for reapplication i'm going to be giving this a 0.8 only because of the slight tint that it leaves on your skin which leads us into white cast. So when you initially put this on your face, you can see that there's a slight, very minuscule difference between my skin and the sunscreen. If you don't rub this into your hairline well, it will leave a little bit of a line there. The cast does go away, but you you will see that there's a little, like it's very minuscule. I'm just being nitpicky at this point. There's a little something on your skin. Under makeup, there's absolutely nothing there, obviously, because you have makeup on. So for white cast, I'm gonna be giving this a 0.9 fragrance i am happy to say that this is fragrance free once again i used to be such a stickler about fragrance i'm not as much of a stickler anymore um but i still don't like anything that's too in my face stinging my eyes too fragranted i'm not a big fan of that so this one being fragrance free is right up my alley it's going to be getting a point for me flashback you guys always want to see what it looks like on camera you won't really be wearing these things at night so for me it doesn't really make a difference for flashback there is none and this is the the photo that i took at the end of the day after applying it three times no flashback um i kind of want to switch out this category and see if it's like sweat proof i think let me know if you would like me to switch out the flashback category for sweat proof now i did wear this when i worked out as well and once again, after it was dried down, there was no issues. I didn't see any whiteness. I don't usually sweat a lot when I work out anyways, like just in the T-zone, but nothing like dripping. That's just how I sweat, right? So nothing there. I have no problems with the way that it looked on my face in, in case you want to wear this to the gym. So for flashback slash workout proof, <laughs> I'm going to be giving this a point. This is probably one of the most positive reviews that I've given a sunscreen in a very long time. This is like right up there with my black girl sunscreen, which is my favorite sunscreen. So this one, I really do like this one a lot. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. Leave a comment down below and let me know, have you tried this sunscreen? Will you be trying it? And what are your thoughts on it? If you have any other suggestions of sunscreens you want me to try and review in the future, leave them down below. Click over here to see some of my previous videos. And as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you lovely ladies and gents in my next one. Bye.